क्या लीजिए The self is of the form of nana itself. Right? That's why it's called Pradnanam Brahma. It's the knowing principle. The objects of knowledge can change. Okay, this is a bottle. This is a uh, uh, mobile. So objects can change. But the knowing cannot change. There's no knower also. Knower means some, knower is also an object. Okay. Knowing principle itself will not change from object to object. Correct? That knowing principle is I, the self. The Atma is not the self. The Atma is the self. That is the Sakshi and the Lord. That is the Lord. The knowing principle itself will not change. Right? Correct, no? So now, when you, when you use the word I ate, I went. Okay? Always understand that I means knowing principle. Then you have to say it. The moment you say I is the body or mind or intellect, then you are trapped. So always you have to fall back on understanding that I am the knowing principle and rest is all objects of knowledge. As long as you are clear, then you will get more and more into deeper self. Right? and understand that this body-mind complex is nothing but a pure biological robot. You are the knowing principle which sees through, understands through this. So with this understanding if you leave, talk, wherever you are say I, always understand that I am seeing through this body-mind complex but I am the knowledge principle. So that's how you keep on getting into always the self. It's called self-remembrance. Yeah. Right? Self is to be known as knowing principles rather than objects of knowledge. It's called Pradhanam Brahma. Means knowing principle is Brahma. It's like a computer, no? Computer has lot of objects. Lot of tamasha goes on. Yeah. Okay. Now, whatever tamasha goes on, unless there is a fear or no, it has no meaning. It is certainly meaningless. Some, right? The sentiment being has to be there yeah. to understand what, what it is. The computer may say it's a mobile, computer may say it's a landline, everything, but it has no sense for that. Yeah. Same thing is true for the mind. Right? Mind can say something, it, is, it can recognize this object or whatever is that. But unless the knowing principle is there, it's not there. Yeah. Knowing principle is what you are. That's called Padmaram. So now the strength and the feeling is that no, I am the knowing principle. Mm -hmm. When you see the world, when you use the word I, be aware that I am the knower. Not knower also, knowing. Knower of the Kula, then other your past memories come to each other. Bringing awareness. Hmm. I just want to be sure that I am not in the sense clarification of ah. what is, you know, how to bring awareness and how to bring okay. awareness. Okay, fine. Let us do that. Hmm. All right. So now, when you, when you lift, a, when you lift something, okay, so you do with the awareness. Hmm. Unconsciously you can lift, right, or you can lift consciously. Understand that this new one, robot can't kill someone. Correct, no? Robot can't kill someone. Robot can't kill someone. Robot can't kill someone. Okay? So, like that. You should have to observe how it's happening. Your body mind complex, how it's happening. The body mind complex should be your object, not the subject. Right? That's why you get more and more establishing self. Any small activity you do, yes. anything you do, you can always go back to be in the self. The more you are in the self, the more you are peaceful. Because the nature of self is peace. Self doesn't, self is peace. 
Self means happiness. There is no experience of happiness self. So the closest example of happiness of self is when you have a when you go to deep sleep, no? Deep sleep there are no mental objects. The self alone is there. And there is a state of peace and happiness. There is no experience of happiness. Because self itself is happiness. The body mind complex stop up with it. Then what is there? Self alone is there. The problem is not be going to self. Self is always there. The problem is identifying wrongly with the self. That you can correct in your daily life. You can borrow the tail. But it's simple. Ha, maybe there was a reality in the view. American Yeah. Yeah. They are new. <laughs> so you didn't come and go. Right? So the moment you associate the body with the complex, you say, I came from American Tintra. Right? He can make it. Memory is it. Memory is attached to the body. Memory is it. Memory is it. Memory is it. Manasa has the ego, but Manasa is there. Manasa consciousness is there. Manasa consciousness. If America is there, consciousness is there. It means the self. Please understand, there are no objects at all in the universe. There's only consciousness. Okay? When you seek an object, the object comes out of consciousness. So you got, you America is not, Papa. You go get a festival. Okay? Okay? When you seek, look something, that object comes out of consciousness. Otherwise, it goes back and dissolves into consciousness. And consciousness is desired by the identity of the There is no identity. Just becomes pure consciousness. Okay? Now when you look at that, from the consciousness again it arises and appears to you as object. Now you have Hindi 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 Every time consciousness in the first object created by Buddha. It looks as though similar, but it's not the same. When the mind, the mind is not an object now. Mind has disappeared into subject. There is no thought of mind. That means they have gone into consciousness. What is not an object, it goes back to consciousness. If America is not an object for you, it has gone to consciousness. And when you look at it, it appears to you. Sketch model, huh? Ah. Model that appears. Ah. Then when you just in full model, it's white. That's how it is. That's how consciousness works. 
only consciousness has the world. There's no object. There's no matter. The matter appears when you look for that. If you don't look for it, it doesn't exist. So unless we go and draw something on that board, something appears. And even if it just slide it off, it will get wiped yes, off. So every time there is a different. Then you hand again. It appears like I'm drawing a dog every time, but then it's not. It's come and gone, come and gone. And every time it's new. Yeah. Your mind makes it feel that it's old. It is not true. Isn't it based on the memory of what happened once? Memory also comes out of consciousness. <laughs> I don't want to go over to that. I don't want to go over to that. And a fresh memory bursts. And beauty of consciousness is able to recreate that fresh air, fresh air. And the hack recreate more than the other. Pradnana means Jnana. That Pradnana means Jnana. Okay. In Jnana, there is no subject and object. The subject and object has become one. And that has become consciousness. And uh, when you look for it, it splits into the same subject, object and subject. Fresh. Which is also the knowing principle. The whole world is nothing but consciousness only. See, what happens is this realization comes from a teaching of a person who is realized. It's called Guru. It's called Karana Guru. Or Guru. Now, how does the teaching of Guru affect you? Please tell me. Will it help in better meditation or what? How it will help? Knowledge. Self is beyond knowledge. The knowledge also comes to the ignorance. Self knows both knowledge and ignorance. Self is knowing principle. Right? Then how does knowledge help? Knowledge and ignorance both belong to what you call this phenomenal world. Right? What you call empirical world. What is the name of Knowledge and ignorance part of the world. Right? How does knowledge help? Of what? Ignorance of the self. Self is ignorance? No, no. The body mind comp the false attachment to the body mind comp. Who has a false attachment? Self has a false attachment? Not at all. which comes from the self, mm -hmm. buddhi, right? Buddhi is the, buddhi comes from the self. Now, buddhi, manas, ahankara, chitta and the world appears. 
out of the buddhi has the highest light of the self, which is knowing and knowledge. Knowing is different from knowledge. Okay, knowing is a subjective principle. Knowledge is objective. Writing test for me. Writing. See, you can know something about a book. Okay, you can know something about a. Uh, the bottle. About the object you can know. Can you know about yourself? No. In the self, knowing is being. That's why Brahma with Brahma Yo Bhavati. Knower of Brahman because Brahma himself. Okay, there is no, there is no separation between knower and the known. And everything known is a knowledge. Self is not a subject of knowledge. Okay, the intellect which comes out of the self is the object of self. Whenever it sees some, some object, it sees the object and it sees a subject. It it creates a subject. From the appearance of the object. Uh-huh. <laughs> you will believe you are getting born. <laughs> you are not only creating the world. <laughs> okay. It creates a concept of subject. Okay, it creates an object and it creates a concept of object, subject. Now the teaching is to destroy the creation of the subject in you whenever you see the object. So that always you follow that to the self. That is the purpose of teaching. That's called avidya. By my teaching, whenever you see the object, you don't create a self out of you, but you create you go back to the follow back to the self. That is the purpose of teaching. And where is the subject created? Subject is not there. What is the subject now seeing this? Not there. Not there. I don't see. I see lens. Who is the seer? The self is here, but the mental, mental end project factor is there. I as a prema seeing, I as a body seeing, I as a student seeing. Mm-hmm. That project is creation by the intellect. Right? The purpose of teaching is every time that gets created, you destroy the concept of self getting created out of the body and mind. That you always fall back on the fuel self. Mm-hmm. That's only teaching. That's why avidya in one. Here's the simplest. Practice. Here, practice it, okay? Presence and absence both are known by Atma. Ego can only know the presence, it can't know absence. So that absence is both are there, that is also Allah,
Until a point of time awareness comes, the intellect doesn't identify the self with the body and mind. What are the circumstances? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it dissolves into the self. ಈಗ ನೀನು ನಾನು ನೋಡ್ತಿದ್ದಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ರೂಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀ ಮೀ ದ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ Okay, the, you, you don't have an idea that the room is there and all. The, all this is supported by consciousness. Every object in the universe is supported by consciousness only. You don't even see that I am sitting on a chair, chair is on the earth, mm-hmm. earth is in the universe. Mm-hmm. Okay? Whole thing is out of your consciousness and out of your uh, mind. Now, the entire universe, every single object in the universe is supported by consciousness alone. And when you see it, see the details it will come, it will come out the, when you don't see the details it will be just going to the background and the consciousness supports it and you don't have a question how this person is hanging in the air ok in the internally in the consciousness it will resolve that you are sitting on a chair chair is sitting on this thing and uh, this room is in the earth earth is in the universe all those things are already supported without your coming to awareness so the same is called god is sustainer and of everything so how does it not it leave ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಬೇಕ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇವನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅವನ್ ತಿನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ತಿನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕೆ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸ ಇದೆ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ See, what happens is Nani, when you experience the sweetness of the mango, mm-hmm. okay, and feels the joy, mm-hmm. okay, he understands joy came from the self. Whereas Adnani thinks joy came from the mango. This is the only difference. The happiness of the self comes out mm-hmm. when you eat a mango. Mm-hmm. Whereas Adnani thinks happiness came into it.
right? Adnan thinks I get the happiness from the world of objects. Nani understands the happiness comes out of the self. Just like any other object. Mm-hmm. Anything comes out, no? Happiness comes out of the self. Mm-hmm. So what is the difference? So Nani never gets attached to anything. If it's a mango, it gets happiness. If he sees an elephant, he sees the happiness. Because happiness is nature. Happiness comes out in any action. How does a man live with a, in an office or in a society? What is the difference between Dhani and Adnani? Living in that, living in that, living consciously living in that. So again, different systems, actions today. They think the body is just an instrument, he's not thinking it. The body is, there's a detachment, I mean, there's no concept of I in the body. There's no concept of I in the self also. Mm-hmm. That I dissolves, dissolves, mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. I is also subject to experience. Other words, mm-hmm. For all the other people, mm-hmm. he appears to be doing a normal uh, function. There will be no difference between Adnani and Adnani in the function. Okay? But for any happiness or unhappiness, sorrow, misery, what happens? Adnani is unaffected. Anything which happens externally, Adnani is unaffected. Otherwise, he is a husband, he is a good husband a good father, for external he appears as if he is same. From internally he is totally different. Completely detached by the actions of the body and mind complex. Free from emotions, free from any disturbances, free from anger, fear, whatever is there. is the perception of object system cannot change. Objects themselves are what they are. Okay? But interpretation of objects which is done by buddhi, mm-hmm. that gets changed by jnana. Okay? For example, sun goes around the earth or earth goes around the sun. Okay, but what appears to you is sun is going around the earth. Now, what is your perception has not changed, but your interpretation of this whole thing has changed. That's because of intellectual understanding of that. So, similarly, in Atma Jnana, Avidya, ignorance of self, is corrected by the Jnana. The interpretation has changed, but nothing has happened to the self. Nothing can ever happen to the self. Only your buddhi, which is actually get the reflection from the self, mm-hmm. it becomes alive and it takes its own life. It becomes its own li- it being. It continues life after life, creating its own uh, misery or joy or whatever that. Okay? That understands its existence depends on the self. And whatever it has created is the images. From that experience, it becomes liberated. The Buddha no longer creates something, new body. That's all this situation. With the Atmadana, it goes. And how much time does Atmadana take place? Nothing. 
ಒಂದು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹಾಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸಲ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಅದು ಸೂರ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿ ಸುತ್ತೋತಾನೆ ಭೂಮಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸುತ್ತೋತಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರತಿ ಸಲ ತಗೊಂಡು ಪ್ರತಿ ಸಲ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಭೂಮಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸುತ್ತೋತೇನೆ ನಾನು ವೇದಾಂತ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಓದ್ಕೊಂಡು ಭೂಮಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸುತ್ತೋತೇನೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಸಲ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಅಮೇರಿಕನ್ ಬರೋದು ಸೂರ್ಯ ಭೂಮಿ ಸುತ್ತೋತಾ ಭೂಮಿ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸುತ್ತೋತಾ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕುತ್ತೂರು ಆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸುನಾಮಿ ಇದು ಯಾಕೆ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸುನಾಮಿ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಸುನಾಮಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಗಳು ಇರೋದು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಸಮಯ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ It's nothing much more than this, sir, this much. But the idea is to keep your mind constantly on uh, mm-hmm. this, sir. Right? ಬಾಡಿ 
when you see a body, mm -hmm. it's a nothing but space modification. Mm -hmm. Body is nothing but space. Mm -hmm. Mind is nothing but time. Mm -hmm. Then mind only exists in time. The product of space is called gross body. The product of time is called subtle body. It is mind. Right? The product of ignorance is called causal body. Uh, interpretation of this event in time and space is causal body. Whenever you interpret this time and space event, you think it is happening with the subtle body or causal body, and that interpretation is called yes. The body is a product of space. The mind is a product of time. Is it? The space and time is what is creating the world. Right? And samsara is your relationship to space and time. Is it? And if you relate to that as body and mind, then you become samsari. If you relate to it as a self, you become liberated. Mm. <laughs> <It's simple. laughs> you need to be liberated. <laughs> it appears actually. Mm. The plane mm. might be mm. World is nothing Nama and Rupa. Rupa is space. Nama is mind, name. Mm -hmm. Okay. So name and form together is a creation. The intelligence, buddhi, operates with vakti. It cannot exist with a name and form. The moment it sees an object, it creates a seer, which is again the name. Seer is brings from all your memories, which is time. Okay. So now America is one day, now England is one day, all the background comes to one of those objects and create one of those. And that object is seeing another object. And both are simulations in the mind. <laughs> both are no reality of them. The mind is a superb computer. Tuck, 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 images create one of those, life put animation, one of those. Now, your avidya is you associate with animation objects rather than the self. Ashtay. In complexity, the leaf. Stay there. Stay there, Sara. Well, if you can call it examples of slow code, computer animation, computer theory, all that. But just that example is enough. Computer, it's easy to do. Yeah, that example is enough. They have to give some different example. Do you mean that modern, these times, these examples are? Yeah, it's easier to appreciate. Appreciate. Grasp Malibar, the intellect here. The intellect can only grasp examples. Nothing has happened to the self, nothing will ever happen to the self. The knowledge or this example? Yeah, that's the intellect. Ega karpura is there. Karpura is there. Right? Benkej is there. Karpura is there. Karpura is there. Karpura is there. Karpura is there. 
కర్పూర అని మీకు ఇగ్నోర్ అయితే బెంకి నాలెడ్జ్ ఆ నాలెడ్జ్ డిస్ట్రాయ్ అయితే బోత్ కిల్ కమిట్ సుసైడ్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ మీన్స్ ఆల్ ది టైమ్ సెల్ఫ్ కీప్ సమ్ షైని ప్రకృతి only intellect can understand this knowledge and destroy the ignorance created with lower mind so yena agutte prakrutiyalli the stone is the stone the mind is very dormant okay the consciousness cannot reflect in the mind the stone is the mind is rudiment okay you can say it is actually samasik mind and therefore in the plants the mind start coming up animals mind start coming up it is actually tamasic and rajasic sattvic mind proportionally all sattvic mind is what is required for is called higher mind this is called lower mind in the lowest mind is tamasic mind there is no object no subject no gnana also okay there is no gnana also so because it does not dana the it existence will keep on continuing and then plant comes plant and rudimentary mind comes up which is called we call tamasic it's slightly beginning rajasic okay the plant also cannot understand right so they perpetuate their existence okay then comes the animals the rajasic mind and tamasic mind both dominate sattvic mind starts dominating in the cow slightly okay human being but that sattva rajas tamas more work less rajas and tamas will predominantly operate most of the people life okay a rajas and tamas will help you to see the objective world okay they see the object world what i call vishayakar vritti even the objects are not different from the consciousness you see as a separate okay and because you see as separate you interact with that separate experience the suffering and pain thing that is coming from outside okay there is sattvic mind in human beings but that will be subservient to such things are seen so you see the world and uh, you want to compete you want to make lot of money sattvic mind becomes a subservient to this rajasic and tamasic mind okay it becomes a servant now but of course there is a understanding that there is a uh, uh, i am suffering this all come to sattvic mind how to come out of suffering this question comes to sattvic mind there is in the animals there is no concept of i am suffering is not there there is a pain there is a pain after that there is no suffering the suffering is actually a mental concept a world mind which is actually settled body which has a past and future when the past and future is there then suffering is there when the present is there there is no suffering right okay for example a fish swims in the ocean keeps on swimming is there a boredom okay is there a fear that someone other with this fish is coming in there is constantly a fear tension blood pressure no it is only the present okay now being in the present is bliss it's a bliss right but you are stuck to that form life form you means what the ego the consciousness consciousness is your life to the ego form form 
Now, in human beings, that intellect which is more evolved is able to question, I am, why I am like this? How can I come out of the survey? The question it can ask. And if it gets the right answer, it gets the Atmadana. Once it gets Atmadana, the intellect will not keep on producing new forms. It doesn't keep on seeking new like bodies. That's called Buddhi, which is evolved. The Buddhi which has flowered. Okay? And such a person is called Buddha. So without human mind evolving, uh, without human intellect, the human intellect is the it is a lower mind is It is actually a lower mind. Mm-hmm. It's called manas and buddhi. Buddhi is the master of the manas. Mm-hmm. Should be. But typically manas is the master of most of the people. I like that. I go I want to go, I want uh, happiness, happiness. The manas is actually buddhi becomes subservient. Right? I want to enjoy this. Ah, I want to have a very nice uh, car. So then Buddhi, t- Buddhi finds a way of getting that nice car. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to get a job, promotion, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, Buddhi becomes subservient to that Manas. Whims and fancies of Manas. So, first Buddhi has to come out of this, uh, uh, Buddhi who is the master, has become servant, mm-hmm. has to come out of this uh, relationship. And that is called Tapas. The higher mind conquers the lower mind. Okay? And makes the lower mind peaceful. And if you don't do, this is called, what's called, uh, this making the lower mind peaceful is called tapas. Okay? And for that, what is required? Self discipline, spiritual study, Vedanta, teaching, puja, all those things are for, for the higher mind to make the lower mind silent. Now the higher mind itself has to be transcended by knowing the truth. So then by knowing the truth, the higher mind itself, the ignorance of the higher mind, that I am the master, will go. And it understands that self is the master. In the process, the higher mind also will become servant of the higher uh, self. That's how it is liberation. So, in the higher mind, always seeks the happiness also. Okay? See, it understands at a certain point of time, sense pleasures and all don't give him happiness. So, the higher mind always seeks happiness through more creative activity. Maybe music, maybe uh, artistic endeavors, maybe study of scriptures. And this is called sattvic joy. Okay? These are Tamasic and Rajic joy. And this is Sattvic joy. Mm-hmm. Now in Sattvic joy, it's also attributed to external thing. So when you transcend that, the joy and happiness is never attributed to any external thing. It comes from inside. So up to this point is Tapasya. Beyond this point is Atmadnana. Awareness. So that's why the Atmadhara or Moksha is shown as a lotus flower. Lotus flower is in a pond, mud pond. It rises about water and it shines with sunlight. Okay. So now it is unaffected by the mud which is actually Rajas and Tamas. It opens up with the sun, with Sattva. It doesn't get, it, the water doesn't touch it. That means the creation doesn't affect it. That's what it done is. 
and nai doesn't never run away from the mud pond he will be there wherever he is he lives as he is this whole concept of spirituality is different from samsara is not correct they are same your response to the samsara is what difference is your understanding of samsara is what is different that's all it is it's all different and even if you do go sanyasa take teach a number of vedanta a number of lectures Still, if your basic understanding is not corrected, you will come to us. The same Buddha says, Nirvana and Samsara is the same. Mm. They are not different. What it means is, mm. Nirvana and Samsara is nothing to do with the external conditions. Your interpretation of the external conditions is what is Nirvana and Samsara. The moment your interpretation changes, okay, all your life gets inverted. <laughs> the problem with my teaching is, once I teach, you'll be completely, your ignorance will be destroyed. You cannot never, you cannot be the same person again. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I teach something, you cannot because go back to original shape. <laughs> That is the problem. <laughs> Then you can come back and say, no, no, my early life was good. <laughs> I can't, don't go, can't go back. <laughs> That's why I am very careful in teaching. Mm-hmm. But some people come back and say, so, no, what you have made me, I know, actually one uh, boy was uh, very, actually, Uh, he was uh, very young and uh, at the young age he got very lot of exposure to a lot of spirituality he was an engineer the, he he uh, he he comes from uh, he plays called chitradurga where there some so many sadhu saints and all he got influenced by them their lifestyle and all so many things he has also tried to meditate for so many days and all those things and he came to my classes then after a couple of days he comes back and says sir what you are doing me Can you reverse me? Okay? Now when I go and interact with my friends, I am feeling completely I am free. I am not able to interact like earlier I do. Okay? And uh, there was a, uh, I am actually uh, quite young, sir. Uh, when I interact with girls, there used to be excitement with me. No, nothing. I am feeling as if I am interacting with someone. <laughs> uh, uh, can you please uh, chain me back into the wall? The other guy said, no. <laughs> that the atmadana is not given uh, just like that unless a person attains some maturity and uh, really this thing is there it's not given it's very simple it's not complex same thing happens in most days actually like what ಪೂಜೆ ಪುನಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೊಲಾಕ್ಷ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಎಂಡಿವರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ
ಆಯ್ ತಪ್ಪ ಇವರು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಇದೆ ಯು ಕೀಪ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಆತ್ಮದ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾರ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸ ಹಚ್ಚಿ ಇದು ರಿಯಲಿ ಸೂಟೇಬಲ್ ಅಂತ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಆತ್ಮದ ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಉಳಿದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಪೂಜೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಆತ್ಮದಾನ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅಂಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೆಚೂರ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಟಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ It's not easy. It's not easy for people to uh, retain self-awareness. Keep up the house. ಆತ್ಮನ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆತ್ಮನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವೀಕ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆತ್ಮನ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮನ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಾಯಾ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಇಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ If you ask Ramana Moshi, what Ramana Moshi is the answer, before Atma Dhana, world is the illusion. After Atma Dhana, world is the reality. Why is it reality? Illusion means a wrong understanding. Okay? Or something which is not there, you are trying to understand. Okay? It's like you see a snake, where there is a rope. Mm. Now once you see the rope, the snake becomes, it's not there. Right? So, when you see the world as existing on its own, mm. without the support of itself, there is the illusion. Atma is forgotten, the world is there. Yes. That's the illusion. Mm. Okay? Mm. That's when before Atma is born. In addition, you create a I am seeing the self also. After Atma Dhanana, you see the world, but the moment you see the world, the world becomes a recognition of yourself. Okay? So, that thing is seen apart from the self. So, then how the world can be Maya, illusion? So, all these la- words are people are misunderstanding. Mm. And before, the, before all the, because of misunderstanding, the lifestyle, everything gets affected. The way they live, mm. the way they work, mm. everything gets affected. So, Buddha's teaching was uh, misinterpreted, so there's no self. Buddha taught anatta. Mm. Anatta means anatma. There's no self. Okay, that's called shunyata. Over a period of time, if facing is shunyata, then whatever I can do, I can do. There is no meaning for me. So, Buddha actually stopped the prevention of cruelty to animals. But Buddhism again gave revival to all of them later. Thinking that everything is shunyata. Nothing. It's meaningless. Right? Okay. So that's why the Sanatana Dharma, the self has to be reached. 
Buddha self told about self. Buddha self told self unborn, aja. Mm. But somewhere in the Buddhism it got uh, deleted. So it led to wrong head. Mm. This self is all it is there. That's all in the universe. That's what Buddha also said, correct? Okay, but Buddhism followed various uh, other things. Mm. That's why I say separate Buddha from the Buddhism. Mm. Okay, it's as if saying all Hindus follow Shankaracharya or Madhvacharya. They don't. What these people told and what these people have understood, what they follow is <laughs> they don't. <laughs> now don't blame the follower for what for what somebody follows to Shankaracharya or Madhvacharya or whatever Acharya. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's what happens. So the baby with the bath. Self alone is there. Self alone appears as an object. So when you don't see the object separate from the self, then the world is not mine. Yeah. <laughs> when you see the world object, Without seeing the self, without experiencing the self, mind. When that happens, you go after the object and you keep on strengthening your illusion of the self. And that becomes a bondage. When you see the self, when you see the object, you see the self, you be the self. Okay, then there is no attachment or illusion because always you fall back to yourself. So you are no, no longer trapped in illusion. So that's reality. Your object is pointing to reality. Right? So the earlier, this is road to Bangalore, the Mysore board is You caught hold of the board. Okay, that's the illusion. Now every object points you to the self. That's reality. <laughs> ಒಂದು ಊಟ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಊಟ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಈ ಊಟದ ಜಾಯ್ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ದ ವೆನ್ ಈಟ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಯುರ್ ಮೌತ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೌತ್ ಮೌತ್ ನೋ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಜಾಯ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫುಡ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಷ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಮುಗಿಲ್ಲ ಓ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಯಾ ನೀವು ಅಂತ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ನೋಡಿ ಅದು ಆ ಅವಳು ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ನೀವು ರುಚಿ ಬಂತು ಆ ರುಚಿ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ನಂಗೆ ಜಾಯ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಗಳು ಆಯ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಈಗ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಆ ನಮ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಅವರಿಗೂ ಪ್ರಭಾಗ ಅವರಿಗೂ ಪ್ರಭಾಗ ಖುಷಿ ನಾನು ಅಡಿಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ರುಚಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂತ There is a death for self and birth for self. Nothing there is. One who knows that death and birth is called self. And what takes the birth and death is called Jeevatma. It is actually intellect with the light of the self. And when the intellect understands the light of the self, the intellect merges back with the self. It is called Yoga. It no longer cooperates with the ego. Otherwise, it needs to cooperate with the ego. Ego is actually, ego is thriving. based on the identity, I am the body, I am the mind, I am the intellect. So intellect becomes a subservient to ego, which is lower mind. This is the Veda Vedanta Purana Vityasa Samadhi. ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಏನು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಏನು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಹ್ಮ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ 
There's no thoughts, no feelings, no emotions being felt. And here is thoughts and emotions feelings come. You understand that they are rising from the self falling. Look like this. Then there is dharana, dhyana, samadhi. Dharana is holding on to something. Dhyana is continuous seeing others. Samadhi is meditation. Okay. So should you do dharana, dhyana, samadhi? Mind when you operate in the world gets scattered. Okay. It's scattered mind and the awareness of the Kashtayata initially. So it brings the mind to one point of awareness. Instead of the object of the world, you take an object of some higher object for meditation. Put all your attention to that. And understand that the meditation is giving joy, but joy is not coming from the object but comes from the self. That's the difference. And then what happens the object varies, then again it comes back, then you always in the self. But in the process of that concentration, what happens is you are purifying your lower mind. Right? Your lower mind has its own habit patterns. Mm -hmm. Its own that. By thinking and concentrating on higher things, the lower mind is purified. Mm -hmm. By being of self who is watching, you are establishing your self. So this practice will make you be established in Sama, uh, this is, what is that term? Be established in uh, your uh, spiritual practice, it purifies the lower mind. The purpose of dhyana is to purify the lower mind. So you can take an object for dhyana. Yeah. It can be divine figure, okay, it can be divine object, yeah. it can be guru, yeah. or it can be a mantra, yeah. or it can be a statement, vakya, yeah. anything. Okay, let us see you take a statement, Vakya. Now Vakya is Tattvamati. So you take your mind, Tattvamati. Contemplate on the meaning. And understand that Tattvamati means the self, which is peace and bliss. Understand the meaning of tat tvam asi. Contemplate on that. See that what happens to you.
da anterior. That nature of that is self, that is called self. That nature is Sat Chit Ananda. Sat Chit Ananda. This nature is Ananda. Okay. When that is experienced, the mind becomes happiness. But that itself is not happiness, you cannot experience it, because it is that. Okay? And similarly, that nature is peace. Okay? When it is experienced the mind, temporarily, mind feels peaceful. But when the mind is silent, absence of mind is peace. Okay? Absence of mind is happiness. And memory of the happiness is what mind experiences. Not the memory, mind can never experience happiness. Mind can never experience peace. Mind can never experience love. Mind can experience only the memory of the love. And memory it associates with some object and it says prema or uh, love. ಕುತ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡೋದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ನೀವು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನೀವು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಈಗ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಗೃಹಸ್ಥ ವಾಹನಸ್ಥ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಏನು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ಕಡೆ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಈಗಲೂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಅದು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ಕಡೆ ವಾಪಸ್ ವಾಪಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಆಶ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಏನು ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ಕಡೆ ಮನಸ್ಸು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುದೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಅದನ್ನ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋಪದೇಶ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಹೆಂಗಸರಿಗೆ ಗಂಡಸರಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಕಾಮನ್ ಅದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಉಪದೇಶ ಮತ್ತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೋಪದೇಶ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂತಿರ್ಗ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನು ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಕರಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಸೊ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಕೆಲಸ ಏನು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಥೈಮ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎ
many people don't do because of the vasana sphere of it then they become grahastha so when they become grahastha they have to lead a life dharma okay grahastha anusthana nindavu okay graha and grahana yavadalu nindane aa grahanadalu nindane andre grahana is the knowledge alli nindano enta avayo ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ಕಡೆ ಹೋಗುದು ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಆ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸ್ಥಿರವಾಗಿದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದೇ ಗ್ರಹಸ್ಥ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಧರ್ಮ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇದು ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಐದು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ರೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಪಂಚ ಯಜ್ಞ ಭೂತ ಯಜ್ಞ ಪಿತೃ ಯಜ್ಞ ದೇವ ಯಜ್ಞ ಋಷಿ ಯಜ್ಞ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಯಜ್ಞ ಭೂತ ಯಜ್ಞಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೆಸ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮಾತೃ ಸೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲವ್ ಟು ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಪಿತ್ರ ಯಜ್ಞ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎನ್ಸೆಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎನ್ಸೆಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡೋದು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಯಂಗರ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಹೈಯರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ರಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ So if teach them the Maya, Papancha Maya, and things like that, it's a different type of thing. How to live as peace and how to achieve success, whatever is required in life, is actually ancestors and children. Yes. They, that's, uh, that's called Pitra Siddha. Then comes Manushyadna. Manushyadna is being service to and human beings. Service can be any, any form, as long as you are able to bring some love and compassion to human beings to start thinking. So, Brahmacharya is to go to, take your mind to Brahman. Grahasthasana is to take the qualities of Brahman to the world. And that's why at the time of marriage, two Janivaras are put. Okay? So, the idea is, I am committing to Brahma, where is Brahma? and also i am making my wife help her to achieve provide all the support for required for her self realization mm-hmm. is the commitment so how much you do that you do mm-hmm. and for that dharma is the way grahastha ashrama grahastha ashrama is the dharma we have to live in dharma taking care of animals living beings take care of children and may helping them to become very evolved human beings. We can make them educated, but we have to help them to become evolved. To become evolved, you cannot make another human being evolved unless you are evolved. A lower level consciousness cannot be a higher level consciousness. Then comes Manushyadna. Manushyadna is taking care of people, helping people. Then they call it Rushyadna. Rushyadna is constantly focusing on self-relation. Teaching of Atmanda. Learning and teaching. Then come Rushyadna, Bhutyadna, Pitrayadna, Devayadna. Devayadna means Devata. So doing what? whatever puja, what should you do. But more importantly, Devata is responsible for Prakriti, nature. So whatever activities, you bring back the balance of nature, either to physical activity or bring awareness of that to the people, is called Devata. So this five Ednas, I convert the Dharma into five Ednas. I will say Dharma means what Dharma, what is Dharma, Hindu Dharma, Sanatana Dharma, Dev Puja Dharma, you know Dharma, Dharma is just the idea. So in the process of what happens, your lower mind gets purified. Mm-hmm. Then you do dhyana. Dhyana one, either ma, uh, ma, mantras like this, or you can do dhyana one, the form of Lord, form of Guru, but every time the form gets converted into Guna. Guna becomes your nature. So it purifies you. Right? It's like, like a, when you take a tablet, the plastic capsule is there. 
ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಒಂದು ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸೂಲ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ನಂದು ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಕಾಪ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಸರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಒಂದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸೂಲ್ ಸೊ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎಲಿವೇಟ್ಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆರ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫೈಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ದೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಗ್ರಹಸ್ಥಾಶ್ರಮ ದಾಸ್ತಾಶ್ರಮ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಯು ಟು ಅರ್ನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಟು ಡೂ ಓಕೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಡಿಕ್ವೇಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ರಿಯಲೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೋರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೈಜ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಎ ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ರಿಟೈರ್ ಟು ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ದ ನೇಚರ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಪೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ Okay, the peace comes out of ignorance. Nature is not alive, uh, not wise. The wisdom has not come. Wisdom has to come from you. So human being comes. The lower nature is peaceful. It's not disturbed. There's cruelty in nature, okay, but there's no violence. Okay, you can see one tiger eating a deer, but it's, it's food, but it doesn't eat second deer. Okay? Survival. Survival. so in the forest what you see is you experience the calmness of nature in grahastashram and dharma you have understood how to uh, silence your uh, lower level impression out of that having uh, doing dharma is one thing having a uh, marriage children it's also one thing the sexual desires everything gets dissipated the sexual desires appear out of the body okay over it that time it becomes a uh, you don't get the uh, distracted with them because you overcome the body sensation you are overcome the lower level of temptation then you move to anapasta at that time of anapasta is you spend more time on contemplation and meditation okay in the process when you have realized or you start living i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the intellect get detached the body mind is like and that becomes your lifestyle then you are entered in sanyasa sanyasa is samyak nyasa everything is deposited properly what is deposited properly your body mind and intellect is deposited back into nature you are borrowed the body mind and intellect from the nature prakriti and you are claiming that is my own now you are deposit back and your consciousness is deposit back in the self that is called sanyasa i thought that is the first right of sanyasa and the actual form of sanyasa the first right of sanyasa is to perform shraddha for you okay shraddha is for somebody when the body or the soul transmigrates from one body to another body then you are no longer and you have understood that you are no longer body mind and intellect okay right that is actually a perform shraddha for you sir okay then once we have established in that i am not the body mind i am not the intellect he has established but it's not 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 negative 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 but negative doesn't make a positive Nethi, Nethi, Nethi doesn't make it positive. <laughs> Nethi, if you are not, I don't understand what is not. Then you understand that I am the universe. That's called Brahmana, Brahmadnani. That's a positive understanding. This is a mystical issue. whatever it is books can't tell <laughs> one who has not understood i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the intellect then he is not a sanyasi he may be practicing for sanyasi but sanyasa is samyak nyasa that happens it can happen anywhere 
a boy, a young boy can happen. I have people who are not married. They are higher, they have been, they have reached a stage of evolution where they clearly know. <laughs> Sanyasa has nothing to do with marriage. Similar brahmacharya has nothing to do with sex. Sex has something to do with energy losses. Loss. What happens? Sexual act drains you energy. It requires a lot of energy. Okay. In terms of uh, physical act, in terms of earning money, position, it requires energy. So your energy which is required for Brahmadnana gets diverted to Bodhi. That's all it is. That's neither nothing wrong or right about it. But there is a lower level mind. Now you cannot suppress the lower level mind. You have to master it, you have to overcome it, you have to transcend it. How intellectually you do is your spiritual life. How, how intellectually you do it is spiritual life. Otherwise it becomes suppression. Suppression is damaging. And Brahmana, we have a concept of various types of Brahmana. Mm-hmm. I am from Karnataka Brahmana, I am come from this Brahmana, that Brahmana. Brahmana is only four types. Guna Karma Vibhavasha. Similarly, Guna not the Karma. Somebody has a Guna of a Brahmana and Karma of a Brahmana. Guna means qualities. Okay, qualities, Sattva Guna Pavana. And Karma is a profession where he knows Veda and he teaches Veda. If you are doing some other profession, you are not qualified for a Brahmana. It has to be. Guna and Karma has to match. Now he is a practicing Brahmana. Okay. Once he knows Brahman, he becomes a Brahma with. Okay, there are four qualities of Brahma. Four being Brahmana are four types. Brahma with, Brahma Vara, Brahma Varinya, Brahma Varishta. Brahma with means one who is a knower of Brahman. Understanding that everything in the universe is nothing but consciousness. Lives with that understanding. Clearly is Brahmana. He is full of love, compassion and wisdom. And that person is a Brahmana. Brahma with Brahma Vara, Brahma Vara India, Brahma Varishta, or if all of them have this basic qualification for Brahmana. Knowing the universe as nothing but consciousness. Live with that. Okay. Brahma with Brahma Vara. So what is more evolved in that, uh, not more evolved, that it's actually the name given by people outside, not inside the state. Okay. So Brahma Vara, what happens? He becomes a recluse. He starts moving away from the society. Okay, because he is immersed in his own bliss. Okay. Brahma Vara, what happens? He is not able to perform. Uh, he is not he, to sustain himself. This becomes difficult for him. Okay, he is always so blissful. For sustain, he has to beg food or something like that. Something other, unless he has some need, unless he has some means of supporting, he has to depend on others. Yeah. He becomes like a child. Brahma Varishta he becomes completely useless for the society because he is immersed in himself. People can take, come and take blessings from him. He may not be able to communicate. Okay, so people have to feed him. He is like a very simple child. That's the Brahma Varishta. So all these four Brahmanas, Brahma with Brahma Vara, Brahma Varina, Brahma Varishta, internally understanding is same. There is no difference. But the external behavior and understanding is different. That depends on the power of the karma. Mm-hmm. Power of the karma, the body.
Okay, any questions? So we're done for later. So my 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 principle is simple. Either you ask questions or I ask questions. If you don't both of them don't ask questions, it's required. So that is the principle of this teaching. <laughs> We're not <laughs> Vedanta means Veda the Antrara, that is the meaning of Veda. The meaning of Veda is also end of Veda. Veda Anta means end of Veda. Veda means knowledge. End of Vedanta means, Vedanta means end of knowledge also. There is nothing more to know. Okay? When there is nothing more to know, when the ignorance of self goes, the end of knowledge happens. And then there is nothing more to know also from Vedas. Nothing more to know from anything. It's called Vedanta. Vedanta means the end of knowledge. It's not end of ignorance. <laughs> because ignorance and knowledge, they exist together. When the ignorance goes, knowledge also goes. In this case. <laughs> Whereas in some cases, when the knowledge comes, ignorance becomes deeper. Suppose somebody gets a PhD. Doctorate. Okay. So the doc, uh, somebody medic, medical doctor has the first is a general medicine. He understands the whole body. Then he becomes a specialist. So uh, ear specialist, dentist specialist. Then he does a PhD. Then he becomes left ear specialist. Then he does further PhD. Then he becomes uh, the, the left ear inside the some uh, this thing is there. No? He becomes specialist. His knowledge grows. At the same time, his ignorance grows also because he doesn't understand so many other parts of his body. <laughs> Whereas in Vedanta, the knowledge and ignorance go together. <laughs> Finished. End of ignorance is end of knowledge. Knowledge and ignorance both end. Whereas any other knowledge, the knowledge means ignorance also grow deeper. Yourself, Atma, as Sakshi, as the universal objects, all objects, support for all universal is Brahma. So, whenever any see object in the universe you see yourself, then you have become Brahmatna. When you see object, you forget yourself, become a Samsari. All is different than ordinary being and human being. Uh, as Brahman Dhan. So there may be some extra powers for a Brahman Dhan. The powers don't come from Brahman Dhan. The powers come from Tapakya. The meditation which he did before he attained full Dhanana. They are the mental powers. One such power could be teaching, like what I am doing. They are all part of the tamasya. Still one tapasya one has to find. Huh? 
Very simple for that also. When by doing some action, your mind becomes no mind, that's called tapasya. By teaching, your mind is completely like in the process of teaching. Whenever I do teaching, my mind is completely silent. So that is the action for me after now. Same thing, I cannot put my mind as comfortably for any option work or anything. The mind diverts, diverts. Not because of any other reason, but I feel it's, uh, there's not much of meaning in that. So it may not be any teaching also. It can be just simple cooking. It can be doing some other thing. Doesn't matter. Where your mind becomes very peaceful is what you are. Probably it can be teaching somebody, helping somebody, serving somebody. Where your mind is completely become no mind. It remains in no mind state. It is what you are supposed to do. So, again, yeah, question, yeah. Okay. Any other? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. 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 Dhamma, that's divine. That's what you are. You have any doubts about that? Are you clear about that? The power that they need love is in good, let's be a step. I think you can do. You can do the question now, that way. As long as you don't lose awareness of that. Becoming Sakshi is only one part of it. After Sakshi, Brahma. That's when you are living, your whole universe you should feel as, as a self. You are the self of the whole universe. Experience it. Be that.
mind can survive only in the positive mind cannot survive in the absent okay so when you listen to the sound listen to the silence then what is there is self only be uh, when you see the form be aware of the space that's how that's the that's where the mind sometimes you become aware of your body then what happens is your ignorance of the body goes body is nothing is there sun itself doesn't know light or darkness when the sun itself is light sun itself doesn't know what is light and what is darkness sun is the i said i am that that's all similarly self self itself doesn't know what is love or uh, happiness or peace somebody else says to know reflection so why you train it sun All of us have one happiness in life, right? Mm-hmm. All of us want peace in life, right? Hmm? But I want happiness and I want peace. Is that something which you want for us? Or is that something which I want to become? Huh? It's impossible. You have to become that. And when you become that, there's no separate thing called peace.
ان شاء الله